Universe. Um, obviously, man. So welcome back to Dragon Ball Universe 2. Now, I'm still doing training, so I'm still going to get it right into this, so we can go on to other stuff. Time to start training. Let's begin. Alright, next up is the Venice Combo. After attacking, you push X button to advance us. So, to advance us, right? Yeah, simple stuff, but I just want to do this to do it. One, two, three, four. Now it's my turn. Well, got that? Begin. Alright, here goes. Easy stuff, easy stuff. Anymore. 
Alright, for this method, I'm gonna hold the left L stick and tap the L2 button for a better advancing step. For better steps. There we go. Yeah, with the L2 tapping method, you can vanish a whole lot better. Alright, thanks for that. Moving on to the next lesson. Okay, from here on out, we're gonna be, I'm going to be doing combos. At this point, the training is coming close to an end. Yeah, every time I get to the combo section, it makes me happy because it's so soon I am almost done. So, once I get these combos finished, I can finally get to the good stuff that I've been here for a while. And I want to hurry up and get this game one going at a decent pace. Alright, I did these combos when I first started the uh, time control, so I'm not gonna eat all any of that. It's time to start training. Let's begin. Here we go. Pow! Alright, that's one combo. Here's the next combo. Yeah! Next combo, coming up. And then the rest of the combos are exclusively for this session only. I didn't get to do this in the uh, other training where the uh, three guys time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, here we go. Drop, 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 drop. And take that. And here we go. One, two, three, four. And And let's take care of those combo lessons. Moving on to the next combo lesson. Combo 2. Combo attack time intermediate. Right. Attack with the right into two bra types. Weak attack, square, and strong attack triangle. Strong attacks are slower than weak attacks, but drain the target's stamina if the target guards. All attacks cause damage and being hit by them restores key. Hitting an opponent who is going with an attack choice by holding a button or with an ultimate attack will break the guard. Then they're vulnerable. The combo list in a pause menu shows new ones that can be chained together. In addition to this universal combo set, each character has their own unique combos. Use super attacks, leave bonuses, not attacks, and the rest of your arsenal to find your own combos. Damage sense will increase as you near the end of a combo. A finisher will do heavy damage, but if your opponent dodges it, don't be able to reach with a back attack. But if you're being hit by a combo, you don't have to worry about a back attack. So, time your defense to dodge the finisher. Alright, and this same thing will pop up in the next level, so not going to be it. Time to start training. Let's begin. Alright, here we go. Take <laughs> that lead well. Alright, next combo. <laughs> not done yet. I think this is the last one, but let's go for it. Right. Cool! Yeah. Right, 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 right. Ah, that was the last one. Alright, ready for the next lesson. Never relax, even in training. Alright, the beginner, the intermediate, now it's time for the advanced combo. Time, advanced edition. Here we go. Ready for the next one. Yeah, I'm on all this. Time to start training. Let's begin. Alright, let's get this thing going. Whoops! And just like that, I'm messing up. How I mess up already. Now things get complicated because I always struggle with the uh, stamina play. 
Every time I did this, the stamina break always gave me the most trouble, and I don't know why that happens. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, see, I did the I did the command and nothing came out. Yeah, every time I try the command, I just go for normal attack. Thanks, Piccolo. Thanks for being nice. There it is, I got it! <laughs> Alright, one more time, and then I'll be done with the main training. Oh, yes! Holy crap, I just did this first try! Woo! <laughs> I, did that first, I actually did that first try. Nice! Never relax. Keep it in training. Woo! Alright, that takes care of all the combo lessons. So glad I got that last one off on the first side. What is this guy? Wow. I've been the last one on the first try before, but the fact that I was able to do it while recording really gave me a lot of confidence boost. Yeah, I felt I felt really, really good at doing that on the first try. Now, I call that one the last one because it's the last main training. The other one is just an extra one because of the update the game had a long time ago. Yeah, a long time ago, Bandai gave this game a thing called Dual Open Attack. So, this was added to here. But, I think this is the last one because this doesn't give me anything. It's just here to let you have a go at it. So I don't really call it the last one. Although technically, it is the last one, but I don't call it the last one. It's kind of just there to be there. Right, do an ultimate attack tutorial. Let's, let's, let's go ahead, let's just get to it. Do an ultimate attack. Do an ultimate attack, so special ultimate attacks that can be used once you reach the partner level with your instructors. When using a dual ultimate attack, the first player will attack, and once it lands, the second player will then perform an assist attack to complete it. Let's have you give it a try now! Alright, so I'm gonna start things off by doing this. Although I kick to the left, Vegeta goes to the right. <laughs> the attack you just landed is the initial attack of the entire dual ultimate attack. Once the initial attack is successful, you enter standby as your partner is instructed to perform their assist attack. The second player will then need to input a command for their assist attack to complete the doors when attack. Let's have your partner do just that. Success! Ah! Alright, this is the full dual ultimate attack. Next, let's switch roles and have you try to put in the assist attack command. Nice! Your partner's essentially landed the initial attack. Now that the time guard is up, enter the assist attack command and complete the attack. And booyah! Alright. Dual ultimate attacks can only be performed by time controllers and instructors. When the dual ultimate attack learned from an instructor is initiated by a time controller, the instructor will perform the assist attack. When performed by two time controllers, the attack can be activated regardless of any of any skills both time controllers have equipped. This concludes the tutorial on dual ultimate attacks. Now it's a big time to find a partner and try some of the skills out in real battle. Please kill the tutorial stuff. Now we can move on to more things. What is this guy? Yeah, see? Power. I don't really count this as something else that's important because it doesn't give you any points. Although it is the actual new last thing. The last thing used to be number 13, but because of this, it's number 14. Or 15 if you're on the Nintendo Switch version because the Nintendo Switch version has two um, beginning lessons when you're with the Supreme Cry of Time. First there's the controller mode, then there's the Joy-Con mode. So then, yeah, that makes this lesson number 15 to number 14. All right, moving on. Just so I do some explaining just to show that I know my stuff. <laughs> and also, I want to keep the commentary interesting. I still feel like I have ways to go in terms of commentary. But I know how to speak, but I'm not sure if I know how to keep into the table commentary. I have to be myself. That's the only thing I can do, is be myself. Alright, with that, 
Well, while that train seems to last, it's time to head towards this area. The time station. Woo! With these transport cards, I don't have to worry about pausing the video just to play it again. I can just be in the area whenever I need, whenever I need to be. Permanent quests are available from the reception area. Of the three characters, including your own, participate in a permanent quest. When offline, you can select other warriors to join as a boy. Some permanent quests come directly from warriors you can meet in Cosmo City while I'm in the reception area. Here's the quest body. We gather reports from time trolls about the sources and time across the galaxy. So you can try, you can try a hand on quests here, or for yourself through the pages with time controller training. Some quests may greatly diverge from the uh, history, others may surprise you in an unexpected way. But don't let that faze you. Please select the quest. Alright, so the quest we're about to do is being a time patroller. Off you go, come back in one piece. I will do just that. Robot, Mr. Robot, sir. Or whatever you are. You're a robot, so... Yeah, as you wish, robot thing. Okay. I'm going to choose my current clothing because the current clothing has for some weight. And also my partner... No, I think was the strongest warrior when this stuff began. So, oh, I haven't changed his colors yet. No, that changes his moves. Oops, I want to get to that. But for now, Pickles looks good with this. I'll go. Um... We're gonna... Uh, I'm, just, I'm just gonna walk out with Piccolo. I can have one more character, but we'll keep Piccolo, and you'll see why soon. And to those that played this game a billion times before, you only know why I decided to just have Piccolo with me. Because you've done all this. But for our new ones, um, I only have Piccolo because soon there's going to be something that gives you reason to just have one character on my side. Alright, you want to know what it means to be a part of the Time Patrol? Well, listen up! And listen good. Yes, sir. Let's start with the basics. Activate that trusty scouter of yours, if you would. See all those items lying around? Well, pick them up. Pick them up. <laughs> Three says that's like, I waste my time and do your thing. All right, press the left directional pad to search your surroundings. When conducting a search, you can view the power levels of your allies and enemies. Is it pronounced allies or allies? Like, some people just say a certain way in a natural way. And I guess that natural way is your way. I say allies, so I guess allies is my natural way. In addition, you can locate places with hidden items. When you get close by, an exclamation mark will appear. Press circle to pick up that item. Alright. Here's item number one. Got material item. And now for item number two. Which is over here when you get closer for it to appear. Yes. If you want an item to appear, you need to get close to it. Otherwise, it won't count. What? You got a two of items. You can acquire items and skills by picking them up and by defeating enemies that use them. Pressing the... Pressing the top directional pad will bring up a list of obtained items and skills at the bottom right of this quest screen. You will lose the items if you fail the power quest you are on. So be sure to complete the quest. <sighs> nice. That seems to be all of them. Now... Let's head over to the next area. Yes, sir. Alright. Area connecting gates. In parallel press, you can use devices called gates to be transported to another area. Some are closed at first, but they can be unlocked when the right conditions are met. Go in there and unlock gate, lock onto it, then press circle to move to another stage. When there are no enemies in the area, gate locations are indi indicated by gate I icons. Heading towards green gate icons is usually the quickest way to get through a quest. First things first. You'll need to use that gate. How's it work, you ask? Why, simply lock on and approach it. Fun voyage! To Archipelago! Blue Guy 3 had an Archipelago stage, and now Xenoverse has an Archipelago stage. Oh, you made it in one piece. I'm a happy kind. Your scouter can be used to zero in on friends. Take a gander at it, would ya? So thing. What do we have here? <gasps> what in tarnation? He's out for the count. But that's okay. You can help him. Remember, when you're down and out, use assist to provide your friends with backup. 
Okay. When a circle appears on a chaos alley or ally, you can revive that character. Lock on to the chaos alley or ally and move close to start reviving. When reviving starts, a dodge will fill and when complete, the character will be revived. KO characters can be KO characters can provide assistance to allies or allies. Lock on to the alley or ally you want to assist and press the circle button to assist based on the character's unique attributes. Alright, here goes! Oh, and we're saving Krillin because we all know Krillin. Krillin's the one that goes down all the time. Okay, okay. Alright, this is why I always decided to keep Piccolo because with Krillin, my team will become a team of three, and that's the maximum amount of team which you can get in a quest. Interruptions by enemies or allies or allies. Don't go request, you will sometimes receive a warning when an enemy comes in as a new challenger. But other times that allies or allies will join the battle in a similar fashion. When enemy or ally slash allies or I mean ally. Let me start again. When an enemy or ally joins us outside of the area you're in, the location they are they are will display on the top right of the screen. That was bad reading, I'm sorry. Try hitting the right try hitting the right away. Alright, you Spider Man, bring it on! I don't have time to deal with you. Hurry up and die! Give me this one. Ah. And take my key back. Take some more. Come here. Oh, I missed. Come here. Ah. Oh, yeah. He's still that. Wait. No, I'm sensing something else. Your scout can reveal hidden enemies. Why not give it a whirl? All right. Searching for enemies. In battle, you can press the left directional pad to do a search for enemies. You can find enemies far away, see enemies hiding behind an obstacle, or even view their power level. Locking on while in search mode will allow you to view even more detailed information. Alright, where's the enemy? Over there! Let's go! We're going up against a Kaiwea man! I'm coming for you. Come here. I said come here. Hold still. Ah. All right, I'm ready. Change in the time showing. 
a warning sign will appear and a pop up will align. Completing this enemy will provide even better rewards. If you lose, you will not count as a it will not count as a failure for the pillow effect itself. The conditions for the time short to change or winning the or the winning conditions after the change will vary depending on the quest. For once it is unlocked, you can view it from the parallel quest registration that comes on city. Defeat the enemies and complete the parallel quest! <laughs> There they are! They say you're the strongest Arthur in Krillin. Show me! They say that, but you've been training too, right, Yamcha? Why don't you show me? Oh, really? Oh, man! I see someone falling out today. Oh, is that a challenge, Wolf Boy? Well, it hasn't been a while since we sparred. That doesn't mean I'm holding back. I'll do just that. I missed. I'll go all out. I missed. Of course. Why does it your life depends on it? Hold still. Not the chance. Here, we're just gonna head here and take a small little break. Gonna 
I'm just gonna relax here, and then when the time comes, it'll be time for more action. But, before we go into more action, I'm gonna sign out, and, you know, be prepared for the time patrol. Yeah, next, next time will be time patrol. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button for me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like what you see. But being said, I'm out of here. Later, viewers.